Have you been to the Great Wall? The Great Wall in your mind may be like this, this, or this, but in fact, more often the Great Wall is like this and this. The construction of the Great Wall lasted for more than 2,000 years. It first started around the 7th century BC. For defense, each vassal built one or several tall walls on their own territory. After Qin unified the six kingdoms, he connected the Great Wall in the north and repaired it, forming a military defense line winding thousands of miles. Since then, successive dynasties in China have repaired and supplemented the Great Wall. The majesty and grandeur of the Great Wall, as well as the architectural talents and military strategies of the ancient Chinese people included in it, impressed the world. But under the erosion of time, the Great Wall continues to experience the process of being broken and disappearing. On the one hand, the Great Wall has been exposed for thousands of years, and various forces of nature, such as floods, earthquakes, wind and sand, and plant root growth, continue to erode the Great Wall and cause huge damage to the Great Wall. On the other hand, it is caused by human factors. The production and construction activities, excavation of rocks, crop cultivation and irrigation in the Great Wall itself and its surrounding areas pose a great threat to the protection of the Great Wall. In addition, the booming tourism industry has also brought security risks to the Great Wall. At present, only 8.2% of the walls of the Great Wall are in relatively good condition, while 74.1% are in poor condition, and 30% of the entire ancient Great Wall has disappeared. However, there is still the Great Wall that is gradually shortening and even disappearing. Faced with the Great Wall that is disappearing every day, how should we repair it? How can modern science and technology help? If we use modern technology to build the Great Wall, how much will it cost? What difficulties are there? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. First of all, let's take a look at what is causing the Great Wall to disappear. There are many reasons for the destruction of the Great Wall, among which the wind and rain erosion and the damage to the wall by trees are very serious. Although the Great Wall is a masonry structure, many towers are already crumbling due to year-round wind and rain. In addition, the trees growing in the cracks of the walls have become the greatest danger to the Great Wall. Many trees have grown in the cracks of the walls, the phenomenon of the wall being damaged by the tree is very serious. The second factor is man-made, such as the theft and sale of Great Wall bricks, has accelerated the destruction of the ancient Great Wall. At the same time, the Great Wall bears a lot of passenger traffic every year, and the frequent trampling of tourists will inevitably cause some loosening of the Great Wall's masonry. It is not difficult to see in the news that the Great Wall is crowded with people during the holidays. In fact, this has accelerated the destruction of the Great Wall to a certain extent. Another factor is the lack of maintenance and management which is also one of the important reasons for the rapid destruction of the Great Wall. Because the Great Wall is a linear cultural heritage, its volume is too large. Although China has the Great Wall Protection Regulations, to a certain extent, this regulation is nothing but a piece of paper and has not played a substantial protective role. The Great Wall is the largest cultural relic in China and even in the world, so protecting the Great Wall is not as easy as we think and it is not a problem that can be solved by a single protection regulation or a few protection promotional videos. Since it is so difficult to protect the Great Wall, how much would it cost to build it with today's technology? Is this an easy task? Okay, please continue watching. The Great Wall of China is 21,196.18 kilometers long. According to experts' calculations, one meter of the Great Wall requires 6,000 bricks and 7 cubic meters of lime mortar. One brick costs 4 yuan, 
and one cubic meter of limestand costs about 400 yuan. In terms of mechanical labor and other costs, it can be estimated that it will cost 60,000 yuan to build a one meter great wall. If the 21,196.18 kilometer Great Wall is built, it will cost 1,270 billion yuan, which is equivalent to 188.8 billion dollars. Its total cost is higher than that of today's China's Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, Zhouchuan Wind Farm, and Three Gorges Dam, the three mega projects combined. In addition, in ancient times, hundreds of thousands or even millions of people worked together to build the Great Wall. So today, we count it as 6,000 people, and the salary of each person is at least 7,000 yuan per month. Now the length of the Great Wall is 21,196.18 kilometers. If you want to build a Great Wall of the same length, it will take at least 10 years, and the labor cost will reach billions. In addition to labor, there are also mechanical costs. Then there are transportation costs. In ancient times, the construction of the Great Wall was human transportation. Now we have heavy trucks, helicopters, and various high-altitude equipment. The transportation time and efficiency will definitely be very high, but these transportation costs will cost at least 25 billion yuan, so even if modern times want to build a Great Wall, it will cost at least trillions of yuan. In addition, the Great Wall is built on high mountains, which increases the cost and difficulty of construction. After all, no matter what project is built, a road must be built first. However, building roads is another big expense. In addition, the construction period and volume of the Great Wall are very large. The Great Wall is a project with the longest construction time and the largest amount of engineering in China and the world. All dynasties in China's history have participated in the construction. Therefore, building the Great Wall is not something that can be accomplished overnight. All in all, it can be seen that even in today's highly technologically advanced society, building the Great Wall is an extremely difficult task. What's more, the Great Wall is the material carrier of the spirit of Chinese civilization. The Great Wall accompanies the main history of the development of the Chinese nation. It spans half of China from east to west. It is a perfect fit between the humanities and the earth in northern China. The Great Wall is China's most proud project, and it is also known as one of the Ten Wonders of the World. Therefore, the protection of the Great Wall is an issue that urgently needs our attention and suitable solutions. We must not let the precious wealth disappear in the long river of time. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time Time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.